Good morning, Storm Jocelyn is going to bring heavy rain and strengthening winds as we go through today, but the wind will peak tonight with widespread gales and severe gales for some, so impacts are likely. Good morning, everyone. I'm starting off with storms as ever in the last few days. I want to tell you, first of all, that storms were first named by the Met Office in the years 2015 to 16, and that year, well, we reached K in March. For 2013 and 2014, before the Met Office started naming the storms, between December and February, there were 12 major storms in just those two months. And that period there was the stormiest that we've seen in 20 years. Now, today, we have another storm bearing down in us, Storm Jocelyn, bringing heavy rain and strengthening winds through the day. But tonight, widespread gales and severe gales in the north. Already, we're seeing a lot of rain associated with Storm Jocelyn moving from the west towards the east, some transient hill snow, and the wind continuing to strengthen through the day. As it clears the south of England and Wales, what you'll find is you'll be left with a lot of cloud and drizzly conditions. And as it clears the northwest, we'll have some heavy showers here. But you can see from the temperatures, it's going to be very mild for the time of year. Now, the Met Office has an amber weather warning in force valid from 6 o'clock this evening till 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. This area here is the one that's covered. We could even have gusts up to 80 miles an hour. So impacts are quite likely, particularly so following on from the storm we've just had, Storm Isha. So the rain will continue to push southwards and clear overnight. These are our overnight temperatures. We're looking at gales or severe gales. And tomorrow they will only slowly moderate, particularly so in the northern half of the country, where Scotland and also northern England will start with gales. But tomorrow is going to be a largely dry day. There'll be a few showers peppering the north and the west. And then later, another weather front starts to show its hand across the southwest. And that's going to introduce some thicker cloud and again, some dank conditions. Temperatures down a touch from what we're looking at today, but nonetheless, we still are looking at between 7 and about 12 degrees. And Sal and John, beyond that, it does remain fairly changeable. <laughs> There's another one heading our way soon. Carol, thank you very much indeed. <laughs>